Hello guys, it's time for an English lesson. My name is Natalia Ljaško. Let's start. Today we continue talking about literature, books and reading. So, let's start with a poem. So, have a look. And let's read together. Follow me. Today was the absolute worst day ever. And don't try to convince me that there is something good in every day. Because when you take a closer look, this world is a pretty evil place. Even if some goodness does shine through once in a while, satisfaction and happiness doesn't last. And it's not true that it's all in the mind and heart, because true happiness can't be attained, only if one's surroundings are good. It's not true that good exists. I'm sure you can agree that the reality creates my attitude. It's all beyond my control. And you'll never in a million years hear me say that today was a very good day. This is a very interesting poem. And here you can see a very sad smiling face because from the very first line you can understand that the poem is sad and depressing. Have a look. Today was the absolute worst day ever. And the author of this poem is actually very sad. And I would say pessimistic. Everything is bad, nothing is good, and you'll never in a million years hear me saying today was a very good day. So from the very beginning, it's all mess. Now, let's have a look at this poem from the different perspective. Let's read it from the end to the beginning. So from the bottom to the top. So let's read again and follow me. Today was a very good day. And you'll never in a million years hear me say that. It's all beyond my control. My attitude creates the reality. I'm sure you can agree that it's not true that good exists. Only if one's surroundings are good. True happiness can be attained because it's all in the mind and heart. It's not true that satisfaction and happiness don't last. Some goodness does shine through once in a while, even if this world is a pretty evil place. Because when you take a closer look, there is something good in every day. And don't try to convince me, today was the absolute worst day ever. So as you see, we have a totally different story. I like this poem very much because it depends on your mood. So when you feel sad, the weather is rainy, for example, or you have just bad mood, you read it from the top to the bottom and it's going to be like a worse day. You're going to be pessimistic. But when you feel really good and happy, you're excited uh, and good things are happening around you, you read it from the bottom to the top in a different way and you feel very positive. You are optimistic. So, here I would like to ask you, let's have a look at the glass of water. How much water is here? Is it half full or half empty? So what do you see? It all depends on your mood. So let's have a look at the picture. Which one are you? So if you say that the glass is half full, you're optimistic. You are seeing good things all around you. But when you say that the cup or the glass is half empty, you are pessimistic. You, you see, everything is bad around you, only bad things happen, and everything is negative. So, let's learn these phrases. The glass is half full. Repeat after me. The glass is half full. And again. The glass is half full. Thank you. So, if I say the glass is half full, I'm an optimist. And I'm optimistic and see positive things. Let's have a look at this one. 
The glass is half empty. One more time. The glass is half empty. And again, the glass is half empty. I'm a pessimist. Everything is negative around me. And if you just see the glass of water, you're probably a realist. This is just a glass with some water, and I'm a realist. So it all depends on your mood. You can be an optimist, positive thinking, or a pessimist, negative thinking, or just reality. You accept reality as it is. And since we're talking about stories, it all depends on our mood. And the stories can be positive and negative. So let's create our own story together. Let's start with this one. Stories are different. We talked about drama, poetry, prose. Today we'll talk about storytelling. And let's have a look at this one. Only verbs are here. Which tense is it? Present, past, future? Yes, this is the past tense. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine verbs. Let's have a look at them. Walk up. What does it mean? Prokinovsa. Put on. Vdehnu. Ate. Zyiv. Left. This is not left or right. This is a verb. Pokinov. Leave left left. Had. Mov. Came back. Повернувся, watched, подивився, did, зробив, went, пішов. So, these are the verbs, and this is actually the story from a typical day of a student, for example, or any other person. For me, it was a story about a student. So, can you help me with the story? I give you one minute, think about the story that you can create using these verbs. So, probably you can tell, I woke up in the morning, I put on my sweater, or I put on my dress, or I put on my clothes, the t-shirt and shorts or jeans. I ate my breakfast or a banana. Then I left for work or I left for school. Then I had lessons, right? And came back home, watched a movie or a favorite serial or a cartoon and then did my homework and went to bed, right? So, according to my story, I just told you a story. Was it interesting for you to listen to me? I'm not sure about that, because I was quite pessimistic and I wasn't interested and it's like, la, 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 la. Teacher, this is boring, this is not interesting. Of course, when you have only verbs, you don't understand anything. So, let's make our story more interesting and let's add nouns. So have a look, we have morning, jeans, a sandwich, school, lessons, home, a film, homework and the bed. You will tell me, Natalia, you have just told us the story using the verbs and the nouns. Like, you woke up in the morning or I woke up in the morning, I put on my jeans, I ate my sandwich, I left school, I had lessons, I came back home, I watched the film, I did my homework and I went to bed. Again, is it interesting? Probably not. So what makes our story colorful, rich and interesting? These are actually adjectives or adverbs. Let's have a look at one more list of words. Early, rano vranci, lucky, shasliwczyk, 
Yami, mm, this is my favorite word. Smachnenke, quickly, fast, quickly, швидко. Amazing, дивовижно. Tired, втомлений. Fantastic, фантастичний. School, школа, and late, пізно. So, now you can update your story using those words in red. I give you 30 seconds now. Think about the story in your mind. Don't write anything. Just try to create and make up sentences in your mind. Okay? So, 30 seconds, guys. Okay, so are you ready to check? Well, we can't check actually because I can't hear you, but I can share my ideas with you. So let's have a look. I woke up early in the morning. I put on my lucky jeans because I love them and a lot of positive things happen when I put on my lucky jeans. I ate a yummy sandwich with bananas. My mommy was very creative today in the morning. And then I quickly left for school. I didn't want to be late. Then I had amazing lessons with beautiful teachers. And then I came back home. Of course, I was a bit tired, so I decided to have some rest. I watched a fantastic film called Harry Potter. This is actually my favorite film and I love watching it. Then I did my homework for school. And then late in the evening, I went to bed. So, compare this story that I have just told you with the first one using only verbs. Is it different? Of course. So, when you tell a story, don't give only facts, pure facts, like I woke up in the morning, I left for school, I had lessons, goodbye. This is not going to be interesting. Add a lot of uh, adjectives, words like amazing, fantastic, lucky, to make your story juicy and more positive, of course. Or probably it's going to be negative, but to add some color to your story. Actually, I have a question to you. Why do we need to remember stories? And why do we need to read books? Of course, it helps us to memorize a lot of things. We learn words from the text, from the stories. We learn facts. So, it's all to practice our memory. And now I'm going to have a little test with you. So get a notebook ready, but don't take a pen yet. First of all, you're going to watch the little video with 10 words. Try to memorize as many words as you can. You just need to remember the words, but don't write anything. Just put your hands behind your back, okay? No hands, hide your hands. Schovajte svoje ruky. Because I don't like cheating, okay? So you watch the video and try to remember the words. Ready? Let's go. Piano. Elephant. Truck. Bottle. Basketball. Chair. Pineapple. Dog. Painting. Trampoline. Okay, that was the last word. Now I would like you to take a pen or a pencil and write down as many words as you remember. Please don't rewind the video, ne peremotujte nazad video. Use your memory and try to write down the words. I give you um, one minute.
Okay, are you ready? So let's write down the words together. I'm going to write the words that I remember. That was a test for me as well. So I'm being honest with you. So the first word that I remember is dog. Let's write it down. If you don't have the word dog in your list, quickly write it down, okay? Add them to your list. Dodavajte ich do svoj spisku. Number two was truck. Number three was chair. Hmm, I also remember bottle. Um, what was that? Trampoline? Okay, so piano. What's next? Painting. Hmm, it is difficult to remember now all the words. Pineapple. So what else? We need two more words. Help me. Dope, truck, chair, bottle, trampoline, piano, painting, pineapple, basketball. I don't remember the last word. So let's check together and watch the video again. Piano. Elephant. Elephant. Truck. Bottle. Basketball. Chair. Pineapple. Dog. Painting. Trampoline. So as you see, we forgot the word elephant. Probably you forgot different words, but it's, um, it's very important now to have the list of all 10 words. And I would say, if you're just an average person, if you're a normal person, then in normal regime you can remember 7 or 8 words. So it was the same for me. Seven was easy, then eight was mm, like this, and I spent um, like a bit of energy to remember the word basketball, and I totally forgot about elephant. And this is okay, I'm just an average person. And probably the same as you. A lot of people remember all the 10 words from the very beginning. So it means that their memory works really good. Now, so since we're creating a story, it's very difficult for us to remember words, just words, as we did it in the video. So we have them in a list. What shall we do with the words? In half an hour, you will forget about them. Yes, you will forget them. So let's create a story in order to memorize the words and also practice storytelling. So since I forgot the word elephant, this is going to be my main hero. An elephant and a dog wanted to play a game. So they were thinking, which game to play? A dog likes to play football, but an elephant likes to play basketball. So let's mark the sentences from the beginning to the end. Let's put them in the story in a line. So a dog and the elephant, this is like a first sentence. They wanted to play different games. The dog likes playing football, but the elephant likes playing basketball. So basketball is going to be number two. And we have the words like pineapple, painting, piano, trampoline, bottle, chair and the truck. So probably we'll continue with the truck. They decided to go to the basketball court and for this they used the truck. The truck was full of different bottles. Bottles were half full, I would say, and there was also a piano. So, it was difficult for them to travel, but they reached their destination. 
When they entered the basketball court, they saw a huge painting there. So we have the words chair, trampoline and pineapple. So since they saw the painting, they decided, why are we going to play basketball? Let's continue painting. Let's finish the painting. So they sat on the chair and started drawing. Of course, what was there in the picture? It was a huge trampoline. Finally, when they finished the painting, they had a fantastic party and they drank a lot of water from the truck and they had a huge cake in the shape of a pineapple. So, as you see, I used all the words from the list in my story. Now, let's create your own story and I'm going to draw a picture of this story, which will help me to memorize faster. So, think of your own story. I'm going to draw for you and while I'm drawing, try to memorize the sentences that I used. I'm silent, I'm just drawing, but you tell the sentences, okay? So, let's go. Ready? Let's go! So my story is going to be like this, all around here. So, I'm ready with my picture. Are you ready with the story? Let's check together. So, let's just describe the elements and then we'll tell the story. So, I named the story The Elephant and the Dog Adventure. So, as you see, this is a dog. This is an elephant. This is a symbol of a football, basketball. This is a truck. We see bottles half full. We see the piano. Then there is a painting a chair, a painting with a trampoline, and then a pineapple. 
Let's check, did they use all the words? Yes. So let's tell a story again. The elephant and the dog adventure. So, a dog and an elephant decided to spend the day together. They wanted to play a game. So the dog likes to play football, but the elephant actually likes to play basketball. So they decided to go to the basketball court. For that, they used the truck. The truck was full of bottles. The bottles were half full of water. There was also a piano there, so it was very difficult to travel. But they managed. The moment they arrived to the basketball court, they saw a huge painting there. So they were thinking, why shall we play basketball? Let's continue drawing a picture. So they sat on the chair and continued painting the picture. And there was a huge trampoline on the painting. When they finished, they had a fantastic party. They drank a lot of water from the truck and they had an enormous cake in the shape of a pineapple. So this is my story. And I'm sure that having the picture in your mind is going to be easier for you to remember the words. Now, if I hide the words and you look at the just empty screen, can you name the words? For example, look at me, I'm not watching the board and can't see anything in front of me. Elephant, dog, basketball, truck, bottles, piano, chair, painting, trampoline, pineapple. Did I mention all the words? Yes. Probably you have noticed that this time I named the words according to the picture. Я назвала всі слова так, як вони з'являлися в мене в історії. Probably all of you already named football, but this is okay. This is not the word from the list. This is just an additional word here. So you have already remembered 11 words. This is very good. In this way, you can practice your memory faster. So guys, your homework is going to be to create your own story. And for this, we're going to use my mobile phone. I have an application that has got dice in it with the pictures. With the pictures, it's easier for us to memorize. So what is going to happen now? I shake the phone and the dice are rolling. When I stop, I see the dice ready for the picture. So I'm going to shake it again, have the picture ready, and your task will be to write your own story using the pictures, okay? And you can send it to my email for checking, natalia.schoolonline at gmail.com. Ready? And I'm sending the picture to you. Here we go. We have the picture ready for you. So grab your phone, take a picture or pause the video, memorize the pictures from the slide and then write your own story. And I hear the bell ringing. It means that we need to stop the lesson. Thank you very much and see you next time. Bye bye.